Don't do this at home. I don't know about you guys, but uh, I've been waiting for this cigar since its conception. Eagerly looking forward to the time when I can get my hands on it. Went into one of my favorite cigar retailers today. Lo and behold, they had just opened a box and I got the first one out. Here we go. Starts out with a Nicaraguan Habano wrapper. The binder is Nicaraguan Corojo. The fillers consist of Corojo and Criollo uh, from Esteli and Jalapa, both in Nicaragua. As expected, it's a gorgeous looking cigar. I know you can't really see in the pictures because it's got that cedar wrap on there and I didn't want to ruin it to do the pictures, but trust me, the wrapper is perfect. Pretty dark for a Habano wrapper. Everything nice and tight, double cap at the top, and a band that makes you feel like royalty. I thought it was kind of strong at first, but just an aged tobacco aroma off of the wrapper, that is it. No new wants to speak of. Okay, we've got that giant cedar off of there. I think it's time to hit it with a punch. As expected, a perfect draw. Kind of spicy with a touch of uh, raisin on that uh, flavor of the pre-light draw. Okay, here we go. Let's get lit. Well, this is quite the exquisite cigar. I don't even want to describe it to you. I want to just sit here and enjoy it. Starts off almost with just a straight tobacco flavor on the draw. Not a whole lot of nuance to speak of. And down throughout the finish, there's this pepper that builds. It starts off, there's, there's nothing there at first, but then it builds and it builds and it builds over the course of a few seconds. And if you pay attention to it, it's just, it just kind of blossoms into this fantastic finish flavor. And, uh, I'm tired of talking. I'm gonna smoke this. Well, guys, I've been smoking this thing for about 20 minutes or so. And what you're gonna say, this doesn't look like it. Well, that's because it's really windy here today. And where I had rested my cigar, Seconds later, the wind decided to come up and knock it down. I dropped the beautiful ash off because, let me tell you, this thing has just been burning as perfect as can be. And I had a beautiful little ash on the bottom that I thought was going to hold on for quite a while until the wind ruined my plans. Now that seems really arbitrary, but what can I say? I love good ash. So, the flavors coming out of this thing are actually fairly simple. On the draw, it's kind of a steedery tobacco flavor. Finishing out, it's got kind of a sweet chocolate and cream. And that really surprised me because I was expecting these deep, rich, bold Nicaraguan flavors. But that's the thing. It is deep, it is rich, and it is bold. It's just the flavors are a little on the sweet side right now. In the retro hill, there's a red pepper. And all those flavors that I say that sound sweet and dessert-like, um, they are, but at the same time, it's in like a bold Nicaraguan way, you know? Normally when you think of Nicaraguan tobacco, you think of like leather and earth and spice and these deep, rich flavors, and you get that feeling, it's just that those aren't the exact flavors that you're getting. So, I don't know, take that for what, I, what it is. Uh, the draw is perfect, just a little on the tight side, which is the way I like it and uh, it's a 
probably only a medium bodied right now. I'm expecting there to be at least a little bit of strength in it, but I'll let you know about that later on. Five minutes in, well into the second third. <clears throat> Very cedary, especially on the draw. Fading into a nice molasses finish, building slightly into just a touch of the pepper that was there in the first third. Medium to full at this point in the body, maybe just a touch of strength. These flavors are very I don't want to call them mild, <clears throat> but at the same time, they're very easy to take in. While it is a medium to full body, it's probably full flavor. Like I say, very easy to take in, very smooth. Just overall excellent. There it goes. There we go. Alright guys, what an amazing cigar. First third, started out with a rich tobacco flavor on the draw. <clears throat> then it had kind of a sweet flavor that kind of built up into a nice peppery finish. The second third, continuing along with that, saw a lot of molasses in that finish, heavy on the cedar in that second third. The final third brought what I was looking for the whole time which was some nice leatheriness, particularly in the finish, along with some earth. Then, towards the very end, nice buttery flavor. <clears throat> particularly there at the end of the finish. Not really any spice to speak of in the finish. And just a touch of strength, just a touch. I was really expecting more, but uh, yeah, overall, I feel like AJ Fernandez really blended this one to appeal to a large range of cigar smokers. It doesn't really matter whether you like mild cigars, full body cigars, you're going, you're going to like this stick. Um, it's got everything. And the, the, the ease with which those flavors sit on your palate just makes it so appealing. You've got lots of depth, lots of richness, and just flawless performance. There's perfect burn all the way down. One thing I will say is the ash never really held on for very long. Um, the slightest touch as you're setting it down on your ashtray, it, it falls off every, I'd say, uh, less than an inch, between a half and three quarter of an inch. Um, not that that really matters, that's just something to note. Uh, draw, flavor, consistency, everything was there. This is just a premium, premium cigar. And uh, the question isn't whether you should try it, it's how many you're gonna buy. And you're gonna have to consult your wallet for that. Because they're a little, a little pricier than uh, what I normally try and review, the, you know, the cheaper sticks. But uh, this one's well worth it. And you know, if you got an occasion coming up where you wanna smoke a really good cigar, this is one that you should, uh, you should check out. I don't know what else I can say about it. Um, I, like I said, I bought this one at a brick and mortar uh, store. Um, I don't know if my friends at Cigar Page uh, carry those. I forgot to check. My bad. Uh, if you're interested or if you're looking for any other types of cigars, check the link in the description below, please. And yeah, that is. Uh, I've been smoking a lot of really good cigars lately. Just it seems like everything I pick up has just been really excellent. But this one's just kind of a little bit above a lot of those. So, excellent cigar. Highly recommend it. Go check that out. The Ramon Alanez by AJ Fernandez. Happy smoking, guys.